most of us read newspaper every day. For example, at home right after work, in a quiet library, or even in a garden while hearing birds singing. So we're surely familiar with that paper containing news, articles of opinion, features, and advertising. Yet only few of us know that there are actually many kinds of newspapers. They can be characterized by interest, frequency of publication, size of circulation, and also page sizes. But in this video, I will just talk mainly about newspapers characterized by the page sizes, such as broadsheet and tabloid. The word broadsheet refers to the most common newspaper format, which is typically around 15 inches wide to 20 or more inches long. And the word tabloid refers to a newspaper that typically measures 11 by 17 inches, smaller than a broadsheet. So strictly speaking, the only thing that really differentiates the two is the page sizes. However, due to its bigger size, broadsheet is often perceived to have in-depth coverage and a sophisticated style of speech in articles aimed at fairly well-educated and high-income readers. On the other hand, tabloid tend to be linked with shorter stories. It is also considered to contain more straightforward and simple language. Language that we would use every day, language that everyone could understand. So it is aimed at less educated and lower income readers. I am a broadsheet. I am a tabloid. I'm big, serious and authoritative, intellectual and analytical. Some people will call me a quality newspaper. I'm more popular than you. I'm entertaining and engaging. I've got a selective readership of about 200,000 people every day. The better sort of people, one might say. Pah, that's nothing. Two or three million people pick me up every day. My articles are more lengthy than yours. They're important and informative. My articles are fun and easy to read, especially on the bus and the train. Plus, we've got lots of pictures. Exactly my point. You wouldn't want to quote something so lightweight in a reference list or bibliography. At least I'm understandable. Although I'm popular, there's a lot of truth in what I say. Otherwise, I'd be sued. But is it true? To answer the question, let's take a look at these two examples of newspapers. Sudoisa Zeitung and Bild Zeitung. Süddeutsche Zeitung is an example of a broadsheet. Enttarnt wird. Wenn Zusammenhänge aufgedeckt werden und Unbequemes ohne Furcht ausgesprochen werden kann. And Bild Zeitung is an example of a tabloid. Noch immer ist ungeklärt, wie die Geschichte, die nach Angaben des Axel Springer Verlags sauber recherchiert, politisch neutral und auf hohem sprachlichen Niveau formuliert war, unbemerkt das Lektorat passieren konnte. Schon allein die Tatsache, dass der Artikel weder nackte Frauenbrüste, grausam entstellte Unfallopfer noch Sylvie Mais enthalten habe, hätte Aufmerksamkeit erregen müssen, so ein Sprecher des Verlags. Bildreporter, die dem Blatt künftig ähnlich betriebsschädigende Artikel unterschieben, hätten mit ernsten Konsequenzen zu rechnen. From each paper, I chose three articles with three different topics. Namely local, domestic politics, and foreign policy. The articles were all collected from the paper's websites. Later, they were analyzed using two research approaches, namely the quantitative approach used for calculating the reading is course and a qualitative approach to analyze the results of these calculations. Research findings show that the reading is score of Sudo Zeitung's article is lower than the reading is score of Bild Zeitung's on the topic of local. It is around 51, whereas the reading is score of the one in Bild Zeitung is around 56. This indicates that on this topic, the Sudo Zeitung's article is more difficult to read than the Bild Zeitung's. The same thing happens to Sudo Zeitung's article on the topic of domestic politics. Its reading score is lower than the Bild Zeitung's. 
it is around 37, whereas the reading is score of the one in built cytome is around 41. This indicates that on this topic, the suit built cytomes article is more difficult to read than the built cytomes. However, on the topic of foreign policy, the reading is score of built cytomes article is much lower compared to the reading is score of suit built cytomes. It is around 49, whereas the reading is score of suit built cytomes article is around 64. This indicates that the article in built cytome on this topic is far more difficult to read than the one in suit built cytome. What is interesting is that this is not because built cytome's article on foreign policy uses language that is more difficult than the one on their usual articles, but because the suit built cytome's article on foreign policy is actually far below its usual writing standards. All in all, we could say that the perception, which states that the articles from newspapers read by well-educated and high-income groups are more difficult to read compared to the articles from newspapers read by less-educated and low-income groups, is proven incorrect.